So I figured I would show you another uh, example of using these drawings to help you figure out where origins and insertions are, and then hopefully actions as well. Um, and so we're going to look at the rotator cuff muscles, right? So uh, here are our four rotator cuff muscles. We're actually only going to see three of them in this view. Again, we're looking at the posterior view of the right arm. Right? And the uh, one of the four muscles, the subscapularis, is deep to the scapula, more on the anterior side of the scapula. So we can't see that in this view. So we'll start, though, if we remember our rotator cuff muscles, well, I don't know where I can write this, right, sits. Right, rotator cuff. There we go. Uh, so sit stands for supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and the subscapularis. Right, so sits equals our rotator cuff. So it's supraspinatus muscle. Again, there's a table on page 265 in your book that shows this. Uh, supraspinatus starts, the origin is in the supraspinous fossa of the scapula. Anybody know where that is, right? Uh, this is the spine of the scapula, right? The spine of the scapula turns into the acromion process. Here is our clavicle, right? Clavicle and the scapula join up at the acromion process. So supraspinous fossa is the dip or the depression above the spine of the scapula. The insertion is the greater tubercle of the humerus. Okay. So if we were to draw lines in, we'll use red again, if we were to draw lines in, it would come this way, underneath here, and then come down to the greater tubercle of the humerus. Uh, the main action of your uh, supraspinatus muscle is abduction of the shoulder. Uh, another thing that you can think of of what this muscle does uh, is if you're holding heavy objects, so you're picking up grocery bags and you're carrying a whole bunch of grocery bags uh, with your arm straight, this muscle contracts to help prevent your humerus from being pulled down out of the socket. Right? So that's another way that you can think of that. So you're, sure, we're doing abduction of the shoulder, but it's also helped just keeping that arm up into the socket, right? up into that glenoid cavity. So there's the supraspinatus muscle. Our second one is the infraspinatus muscle. The infra, well, let's label it, right? We always got to label it. Right? Our second one is the infra. R. So infraspinatus, uh, running out of room, so I'm not going to write the whole thing. Uh, but the infraspinatus muscle, right? Origin is the infraspinous fossa of the scapula. Right? Infraspinous, here's their spine of the scapula again. The infraspinous fossa is this. It's all right there. Uh, so the infraspinous fossa of the scapula. The insertion point on that is actually the glenoid tubercle again. Not the clinoid tubercle, excuse me, the greater tubercle of the humerus. The greater tubercle of the humerus. So again, if we were to draw lines going out there, they're all going to come this way. Well, think about what that is doing, right? Where that is, and if that muscle pulls, that's an external rotator of the humerus, right? As that shortens, it takes and pulls your arm away, right? Rotates that humerus, right? towards the outside. Right? So that is an external rotator uh, of the scapula. Right? Our third one is the teres minor. The teres minor right, starts at the lateral border of the scapula, inserts, passes laterally to reach the greater tubercle of the humerus. Right? So let's get our Lateral border of the lateral border of the scapula. Let's erase that dot over here. Right, this is the medial border of the scapula, closer to the midline. Right, so lateral border of the scapula is going to be over here. Right, and then again goes to the greater tubercle of the humerus. Well, if we draw a straight line, if we draw a series of straight lines here, that's our teres minor. Again, it's going to be an external rotator. Right? Takes and pulls down a little bit too, but is, again, generally, uh, as that shortens, is going to be an external rotator of the humerus. 
Okay. There is a teres major muscle as well. Teres major is a little bit bigger than teres minor. Starts at the same spot. Right? So teres major, inferior angle, so a little bit further down. Right? Again, this isn't part of the rotator cuff, but... Teres major starts at the inferior angle. There's my purple. Starts at the very bottom of the scapula there, right? We can see that uh, teres minor started at the, la the lateral border. Here we're starting at the inferior angle. And this one actually passes in front of the humerus right, and goes to what's known as the um, intertubular groove. So exactly where does it say it goes? Teres major passes medially to reach the medial lip of the intertubular groove of the humerus. Right, so intertubular groove is on the anterior side of your humerus. You can feel that groove on the uh, on the front of your humerus. The biceps tendon actually runs through that. And that teres major muscle actually comes, I'm going to use red here, this way, and then goes behind or anteriorly. I'll draw dots to show that it's happening behind. Uh, behind this bone or anterior to this bone uh, and grabs onto the... Um, medial lip of the intertubular groove. Uh, and so this one here, teres major, right? Extension, adduction, and medial rotation at the shoulder. Right? Extension is taking and pulling back. And that kind of makes sense. If your arm was out in front, this muscle could shorten because it's grabbing on the front and then something in back. It's going to pull shorter. It's going to extend the humerus. So that's the main action of that one. Teres major. The last one is uh, the subscapularis, and again, I don't have a, uh, I don't have the picture ready to go for this one, but subscapularis on the anterior side of the humerus sits in the subscapular fossa. Remember, the subscapular fossa would fill that entire uh, anterior side of the scapula, right? Subscapularis goes to the lesser tubercle of the humerus. The lesser tubercle of the humerus is on the front or the anterior side of your shoulder again. Uh, this is going to be a medial rotator of the humerus. Is the big one there. So uh, that's a quick jaunt through our rotator cuff muscles. Sit, S I T S, right? Supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and then the last one not drawn is the subscapularis.